Hello everyone, this is Noah, and today I'm doing a uh, bit of an unboxing video. It's not something that I've done before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, today I received a uh, package in a distinctive triangular box, which uh, some people will recognize as being sort of the trademark uh, shipping container for Himalayan Imports uh, Kukri blades. Uh, this is a 12-inch Foxy Folly model, is what they call it. Uh, so I have not yet seen this. We'll open it up, take a look at it. Uh, Himalayan Imports is known for having very good uh, Nepalese blades. Uh, they're made in Nepal by actual Kami, uh, which is the... Uh, class of people uh, responsible for basically blacksmithing, uh, forging, and uh, they're then shipped uh, to Reno, Nevada, where they're distributed to the United States. So this comes to me from Nepal uh, by way of Nevada, so it didn't have very far to go to get to Arizona, uh, at least as far as the... Uh, the last leg of its journey goes. Uh, the the kukri is a bit of a uh, unique looking weapon uh, slash tool. It acts as both uh, in its homeland of Nepal, which is not terribly unusual for uh, a lot of blades. They tend to be both a tool and a weapon if they're uh, over a certain size. So, this is meant to be a smaller blade. Uh, the 12-inch uh, designation that it was given is the overall length. So, if we put this closer, you can see that it is not a very large kukri. Uh, usually, a kukri is going to be a, a much larger blade. So, this would be the 12 inch Foxy Folly. The blade is about uh, 9 inches. And there you can see all the bevels as the light hits them there. Uh, one of the characteristics of Kukri is the, uh, the bevels that are in the back of the blade uh, as well as uh, toward the front where the edge is. Uh, that's a very distinctive characteristic that essentially gives it an I-beam uh, type function, so it's a sturdier blade without needing to be uh, incredibly thick. Now, this one uh, comes with a, uh, a dark wooden handle uh, that's a heavier hardwood. Some of them come with a lighter one uh, that's a lighter wood handle. Some come with horn handles. Um, this one was part of a uh, deal of the day uh, from Himalayan Imports, uh, so it was a special they were doing uh, as part of uh, an ongoing Christmas program. So they're doing a uh, 12 days of Christmas sale. And if we put this up closer, you can see the maker's marks there. And on the other side. And you see that the, uh, the bolster here is a habaki style bolster. Uh, that's one of the distinctive characteristics of Himalayan imports, uh, is they make that bolster, or that uh, habaki style that kind of comes up the blade a bit. And you can see the tang goes all the way through and is peened on the end to keep the blade in place. The back of the blade, the spine, don't know how well you can see it, it is slightly rounded. So, as I mentioned, these are intended to be 
weapons uh, and tools. Now, I have a larger machete, uh, and so I didn't really need a machete, uh, per se. And I wanted to get something that was a little bit uh, smaller, a little more compact. And being a martial artist, I wanted something that was a little light. And this smaller blade really fit the bill for me. It's enough blade to chop with, uh, which some people would uh, probably disagree with me, but I've chopped with much smaller blades and gotten the job done. Uh, I think this is actually just the right size. Uh, it fits my hand really well and uh, very comfortable. These slashing cuts and these chopping uh, motions with the kukri uh, tend to be very, very effective uh, on brush, on uh, branches, and uh, they'll also be very effective as a weapon. Uh, just a very, very effective blade overall. Uh, and the shape is a very distinctive one. Uh, you can see this in Greek weapons as well, um, some Egyptian weapons. Uh, they'll have this sort of forward swept blade to give it more of a, uh, a chopping effect. And the fact that it's as curved as it is along the edge gives it a lot of belly to cut with. Uh, so it really makes it something that you can use in a variety of ways. Now, I have not personally owned a kukri before. Uh, I've handled a few here and there from other people. And uh, it's always been a very interesting experience, so it's something that I uh, have been wanting to do and, and wanting to get one for myself. So uh, I apologize for uh, rambling on so much, but that's something that I do tend to do. The sheath uh, looks very nice. It's a very simple, uh, traditional kukri sheath. Uh, when you buy a kukri, uh, not only do you tend to get the kukri itself, uh, but you get these two extra little guys in the back. Uh, they are a uh, honing device. Not exactly a sharpening steel, which is what some people will uh, call it, uh, but it's, it's more to take the burr off the edge of your blade when you're done sharpening it and a carda, uh, which is a, a small utility knife type of blade uh, for the little detailed intricate work that you can't do with the larger kukri blade. So the fact that you get essentially uh, three items in one uh, is very nice uh, as well. Uh, personally, since I do leather work, I'll probably be making my own sheath for this. Uh, that's not the traditional kukri style, uh, one that's a little more uh, modern and uh, fits me a little bit better. But uh, overall, I have to say this is a very impressive piece, uh, and I'm very happy with it. I'm looking forward to using it a bit.